Hey guys, welcome to the Awakening 133, I think it is, 133. And uh, I'm ready to go on to do the Tarot Show and Moving On TV, which is on at 7.30, at 8 o'clock, sorry, start at 8 o'clock UK time uh, for all of you. And so, um, but before that, I want to talk about what's happening with with the awakening um, as that's what the awakening is about as you know there's different programs go on and moving on tv because we're basically a tv station for everyone and so there's different types of programs different types of people so the tarot uh, the tarot show the awakening today is going to be talking about more about the vanishing twin syndrome the womb twin survivor and i'm really excited about that because let me put it this way. I'm ascending and I'm doing well. I've got my ups and downs. Um, I'm oscillating, which is completely normal. Normal. And um, But the thing is that the way I recovered in the therapeutic community, and there's the book, simply amazing at the back, okay? The way I recovered in the therapeutic community um, with that in the therapeutic community was, I was reduced to being a 10 year old child. It took a year, eight months to get me to that level. And the minute I was able to feel what it felt like to be 10 years old, that's when the magic happened. That's when I realized that it was not my fault, any of the abuse. And I woke up that night and said, don't send me back. And I realized it's what I said to mom and dad. This is for my neck to keep my neck muscles uh, so I don't keep getting bad throats uh, from talking too much in, you know, from all the tension anyway, that's nothing to do with the awakening. Well, it is, it's the throat chakra. So I recommend you get one of these, they're pretty good. So anyway, so basically for me, I do not believe, doesn't work for me. If I sit there meditating day and night, I do not believe that I can actually get what I need. Okay, so I'm always very controversial and I'm always able to look at things differently than everybody else. And to me, the biggest awakening I had was in the therapeutic community. The minute I realized that I felt like a 10 year old, I didn't realize I felt like a 10 year old because I was bullied and I was pushed into situations. And I felt like a 10 year old child. And that to me is the answer. So it doesn't matter what. Mom and Dad. How did I come on? Sorry. Right. <laughs> that boom box is haunted, I tell you. Anyway, I felt like a 10 year old child, okay? And to me, the minute I was able, the personality was able to feel like a 10 year old bully child then I was able to get the feelings that I needed in here of abuse. And that was the magic happened. And that was the end of it. A large extent of it, the guilt went completely. And I understood my 10 year old understood it wasn't her fault. It was mummy and daddy and made silly mistakes and sent her back to be abused time and time again. And so that was something I learned and I was able to move on and get in the peace. Now, the second time that happened was when I discovered the twin, that I'm a, a womb twin survivor and a vanishing twin. And that happened when I was able to feel it. Okay, again, I'm telling you, I do not believe in these practices to say you don't need to feel, that you could just meditate and meditate and meditate and you'll ascend. I don't believe it, it doesn't work for me. It may work for some of you that all you do is meditate. To me, that's just denial. You're the bypassing the pain, and I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Spiritual bypass. You have to feel before you can heal. You cannot heal without feeling. And to me, the minute I was able to feel what that fetus is feeling, and that's what I've been going through with this eviction. Lauren didn't want to come out of the womb where I'm living. I don't want to move. She doesn't want to move. The fetus cannot function because the fetus was never healed. And believe it or not, the fetus needs to heal. Everything needs to heal. 
past lives, and you cannot pretend that that doesn't exist, no? And people say to me, Lauren, sit there for weeks on end and meditate. No, I went into, that didn't work for me. I've done 10, I've done meditations, I've done silent retreats, I've done everything, loads, not everything, but I've done loads of stuff. And yes, I got some inner peace, but that didn't solve the problem. I have never, ever gone back to the way I was before the therapeutic community, ever. And again, my story is simply amazing, the book, <laughs> that way. So if you want to read it or watch Two Away Blonde, my story is on there. Angie interviewed me about what happened to me. Now, the reason I feel so good today is because I felt the pain of the fetus. I didn't want to move. And I sat there and I said, look, I can't, I can't get out of the womb. I can't, I don't want to move. I'm in the womb again. Womb, the fetus, the, 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 the womb. I am a survivor. And I carry the guilt of the fact that I survived and my twin didn't. And the twin carries the guilt of the fact that they moved on and left. Okay, and until these issues are resolved, you're going to keep repeating them over and over. So the reason I feel so good today is because I dealt with it again. And I believe now that a certain extent, some, a quite a lot of the layers have come off and I'm ready to move. Not ready, ready, and it'll be a slow process. My mom told me I didn't want to come out of the womb. And now I understand why. Because I was in shock. The fetus that I was, the physical was in shock it lost its twin. And I explained all that in um, the last one, so please watch it. So today I was able to admit, not only that I need to move my neck a lot when I'm talking and singing in order to not build up tension. So forgive me about that, but that's what my singing teacher is telling me to do. Um, unless I'm relaxed, why not? Because it does help a lot, okay? Unless I'm uh, not relaxed, unless I'm singing live, obviously I can't keep doing this. So to me, if you want to heal your trauma, come to me. Because God knows, if anybody knows how to do it, it's me. And I do not believe you can heal your trauma without feeling what that child went through. And the only way you can do it is you have to go there. You have to give yourself a chance to ask spirit to take you to where you need to go. And not everyone can do it. People will be blocked. They don't want to go there. I've tried it with people. They wouldn't go there. I go there because I have no choice because I want to move on I, and I want a better life than I've had. And my life is getting better. And I, I sat and I looked at the, the um, facts and what the mind was doing and the facts of this move. I was able to focus it with Pierce Corbin's lawyer. I'm very lucky that I've got Pierce Corbin's lawyer because of all the wonderful work I've done. I'm protected by common law. And I don't have to say anything or do anything that I don't want to do. No one needs to control anything about me or my health, okay? So what I'm saying to you though, is I was able to move forward because of that, right? So what I'm saying is, and also because I, I'm, I'm living my dream, and now I'm going on to do the tarot show. And yesterday I did MOTV ta uh, jukebox with all this new talent. And wow, it's so exciting, all this incredible new talent I'm bringing on. Okay? So what I'm saying is, hang on, I'm going to put the light on because I don't think the Zoom's working that well. It's a bit dark, so let me turn that. Does it make any difference with the light? I don't know, I'll have to wait. I'm not sure. It still looks glary to me, but I have to wait until it goes on YouTube. Maybe it's positioned wrong, but I don't want to move this thing because the webcam is so useless that, you know, it's not better, a bit more focus. So I want to turn the lights off for the tarot show, make it nice and intimate and relaxing. I've got my, uh, my, my, I've been smudging. I've got my beautiful pink candle salt lamp. Someone gave me for Christmas. I can't remember who it was now. Someone gave it to me. 
a couple of years ago. God, I can't remember. I cannot remember. Right, it's beautiful. Um, I'll move all the clothes over there and you'll be able to see it. There it is. And as I say, my smudge stick and my cards, I'm ready to go. Um, but um, as I said, what I'm trying to say here is feel first. And so if you can't do it, I will try and help you, but I can't help everybody. But um, I'm lucky that I get triggered so quickly now because when, I, the, when I'm okay and I'm strong and then something happens, I can trigger quite easy and go to where I need to go. And I'm so grateful for everybody that has done anything unkind to me, as you know. They did the right thing. It was their job. And I was talking to Martin about all of this, how I came into his life for a reason. He came into mine. And everyone comes into each other's lives for a reason. And we push those buttons that need to be pushed. Thank God, in order for us to move on, if you want to move on. But what I'm saying here is in order to get the results, you have to feel. And at my, with me, it was actually feeling like a fetus. The fetus who had no chance to express how he feels. That poor little fetus that was left alone in the womb because it thought deep down inside, it feels everything. It was connected to another fetus. And so that's the vanishing twin syndrome, the womb twin survivor, which um, I'm going to try and bring someone on to moving on TV to talk about it. Join me at the Tara show. This will go on later anyway, so it doesn't make any sense. But join me out tomorrow, join me. And I've got life tomorrow and Sunday. We're going all day. Baba Bertha will be coming on and she'll be doing her leap up and down with the knickers in the air. I love you lots. And it's a short awakening, but I'm just trying to prove to you how it works for me. I'm completely balanced out of my, don't believe in mental health labels, as you know, vanishing twin syndrome label whatever that is, and able to move on nicely into the brilliant weekend with you guys and a brilliant tarot reading tonight. So I love you lots. And this will go on after the tarot show. So I hope you enjoyed it. Love you lots. Take care now. Bye.